I was wrong about I'll hate them. In one of my previous videos, I mentioned why I was skipping I'll hate them. Too long didn't read, not unique enough for a character to be summoned on. Also, many people compared I'll hate them to the likes of Kuching, and I believed them because of how much I'll hate them skit resembled that of Kuching. I couldn't have been more wrong. Although the function does look similar, I'll hate them play differently. And it showed. Whilst trying him out for the first time, I realized one thing. He was kind of fun. I mean, I enjoyed coaching. Why wouldn't I think that I'll hate them would be fun? It was definitely an overlook on my behalf, and I admit to it. However, that doesn't mean I'll summon on him on my main account. Alhatham definitely has one of Genshin's cooler designs. With his sleek hair and clean look, he definitely fills the role he portrays in Genshin's Archon quest. Not quite how I expected him to be. The only thing holding me back or trying to summon Alhatham over the 5 star Shingcho Yelan or Hu Tao or even Xiao which is currently alongside his banner is I just don't see him to be quite that unique. Of course, Yulan, you know, pretty much Shing Cho, but her E skill definitely is different. You can see how much it, it sort of changes the game. And that's enough of a difference to make me summon on a character or not. In any case, I didn't quite see a reason to summon on, he on I'll Hate Them. He isn't as cool to me as some other characters, and I definitely didn't resonate with him. Perhaps it's a preference thing, or it's the looming fact that Dia's are right around the corner. Yeah, that's right, Dia. Alhatham had the potential to be a unique and extra appealing character because of how complicated he was in the Archon Quest. I suppose I wish he was a little bit different because he's a sword dendro character and I've placed a lot of expectation for that. We've seen how these dendro characters can be different through both Nahida and the now Yao Yao even. They can just do much more with the element of dendro. Maybe a cool new character will come in I'll hate them instead. Fill that empty void I have been feeling. In any case, on the newly created account, I will be trying rather desperately to attempt to acquire him on that account. I still haven't unlocked events so I'm yet to be able to use the event wishes that are present to me. So I am going to grind out to see if I can get all hate them on that account. Again, that doesn't mean I'm summoning him on my main, but I think the main reason why I will short shrift of anything on my path to get him on this account is because that's the purpose of this account. The summon characters I don't typically use and well, use them. I'm currently working on Kaya, Amber, Noel, and even Yao Yao because I want a different Genshin Impact experience. No Xing Cho, no Xiangling, no old 5 stars, and see how far I can take it. It's going to be a slow process, but I think the end justify the means and I'll end up pulling the sword from the stone in the end. It's just sometimes I won't have enough time. And that's pretty much it. I know this has been a short video and I have been out of the loop for a while, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. And I will be making more content, it's just that I've gotten a little bit burnt out and I'm sort of ready to come back in. However, it will be <laughs> kind of a slow process. But hopefully you guys did enjoy it anyways and if you guys want to watch more videos, subscribe to the channel and watch the next video recommended on your screen.